I cannot endorse the, the invoice uh, Okujeto Ablako has put out, but I can clearly say that he's put up a stellar performance in damning the president. This is what I call spin. I couldn't have done better myself. Now, this is an old argument that politics has deferred till now. When President Kufo was leaving office, he tabled at the time that he wanted to buy a large presidential jet and two smaller ones to serve us better. And at the same time, he was building a presidential palace. Politics at the time dictated that these moves were condemned. So when the NDC came into power, they abandoned the large jet and acquired the smaller one. Now that decision has come to bite us today. I think this is a straightforward matter. Instead of looking at invoices generated by Okujitua Blakwa and damning the president and his luxury and disrespect to the Ghanaians and all that, it is time to take a decision. And there are two decisions we can take. Should we bite the bullet and buy a large enough presidential jet that serves our purposes effectively? Or should we really continue with a hybrid where we have a presidential jet we consider insufficient for some times, and therefore we use commercial means? Now, when it comes to commercial means, there's opportunity to travel by regular commercial airlines, first class, or to rent. So the question then becomes whether or not, as a nation, where we are going, we will still have precedents, whether we revise the constitution or not. Presidents need to travel. Anybody who says that we would have received vaccines and say, and so the president shouldn't have traveled, is not doing us justice to giving the role of Ghana within Africa and the world. The president is a very prominent person in COVID management throughout the world. And whether it's COVID management, debt relief, or uh, establishing a new world order, debt management and otherwise. The leading president must be seen to be advocating where it matters. Presidential travel is beyond dispute. The question is, how do we do it? And I think that as a state, we have arrived at the point where whatever decision we take will benefit the next president or disadvantage the next president. So it is not about debating the merits of what the Kufuado is doing or has done. He is not in charge of his travels. National security is in charge of his travels. It's about what we do to stabilize the front. And to my mind, we need to acquire something that serves the nation well. And that means that that something must serve not only the president, but the other international travels that we do. Because the military who are in charge of this process say that a very large aircraft or a large enough aircraft can also be used to service peacekeeping. But we do a lot of peacekeeping airlifting. It costs us an average of 50 million a year, as Niti told us. And so if we can invest in something that can be reconfigured and configured depending on who is using it, I think in the long run, it will benefit this country. Thank you. And of course, it will eliminate the political uh, uh, spinning about whether or not a president loves luxury or mm. not. I, I don't subscribe to a situation where the president rides a bicycle to Germany.